Hey, welcome to Sweet Savage Flame. It's your host, Jacqueline Diaz. And here at Sweet Savage Flame, we cover all old school and vintage romance from Avon to Zebra. Today we're going to talk about six sweet and sexy heroes from old school historical romances. We've compiled the lists of six sweet and sexy heroes from some amazing historical romances. These remarkable men will have you spooning with their devoted adoration for their women. Now let's start with hero number one. That's Stephen Montgomery from Highland Velvet by Jude Devereaux. And we reviewed this book several months ago at Sweet Savage Flame. So I highly recommend you take a look at our website. The reviews of uh, Highland Velvet will be there. I believe we gave it five stars. Now, in this early Tudor era romance, Stephen Montgomery is given Bronwyn McGarren's hand in marriage. It's his reward for valiant deeds fought for King Henry VII. Instead of finding a willing bride, he finds Bronwyn is bitter about the forced arrangement with the hated Englishman. She cares only about her Scottish clan and her lands. Stephen will do everything in his power to prove to Bronwyn that he's the right man for her and her people. Stephen is kind, patient, and humorous in contrast to his sour wife. His sacrifices for her might make you sigh, either in delight or frustration because he does so much for Bronwyn. Stephen is a wonderful hero who will melt your heart, and we highly recommend this one. Next up on the list is Burke Drummond from Night Fire by Catherine Coulter. Night Fire was Catherine Coulter's one of her few truly nice guy heroes. Ariel and Burke Drummond met years ago when she was but 15 years old. Burke instantly fell in love with Ariel, but he was called to go to war against the French. In the interim, Ariel was forced into marriage with a cruel elderly lecher. Years later, Burke returns to find Ariel a bitter widow, widow suffering post-traumatic stress from the abuse she endured. She wants nothing to do with men, while Burke's feelings for Ariel still run strong. Thus unfolds a tender, emotional love story where Burke patiently woos Ariel, although he is a bit of a randy rascal, we have to admit. Her recovery takes time, and Burke is there to give her genuine support and understanding. Meanwhile, a wicked villain has his eye on Ariel. Will Burke also be there to save her life before it's too late? Third on our list is Noelle Bouchard from Wicked Stranger by Louisa Rawlings. Now, another romance we've reviewed featuring a fantastic hero is Louisa Rawlings' Wicked Stranger. You can look up that review as well at SweetSavageFlame.com. Noel Bouchard is a charming, devil-may-care Frenchman who's seen the horrors of war. He wants nothing in life but to live it to the fullest and he knows each day could be his last. In New York, Noel meets a dour heiress, Elizabeth Babcock, and somehow falls for her despite her sharp tongue and prickly exterior. He sees the vulnerable woman beneath and vows to bring joy to Bess's life. Noelle is a rogue in the most wonderful sense of a word, introducing Bess to romance and adventure. Noelle's contagious joie de vivre 
will surely make you fall for him as Elizabeth does. Number four on our list is Angel by An Angel by Joanna Lindsay. The eponymous Angel of Joanna Lindsay 25th romance novel is a gunslinger whose background is shrouded in mystery. Abandoned by his family at a young age, he goes by the name his mother called him as a young boy. Angel is not a traditional romance hero. Well, for one thing, he's very short. Moreover, Angel wants nothing to do with the heroine, Cassie Stewart, a meddlesome young lady with the Black Panther. Somehow he finds himself trying to help Cassie out of the mess she's gotten herself into. Cassie is more than capable of using a weapon, but she needs Angel's help to help save her ranch. Now, the humor here is utterly delightful, and the chemistry between the two protagonists is sizzling. Angel is a hero to die for. And watch out for that cat. Next on our list is Alex Rayford from Then Came You by Lisa Klapis. Now, I don't know about you, but Alex Rayford is one of my favorite all-time heroes. And Then Came You by Lisa Klapis is another book we've reviewed here at Sweet Savage Flame. Lawless Lily Lawson is intent on breaking her sister's arranged betrothal the priggish stuff shirt Lord Alex Rayford. As her sister is in love with another man and she does not want to marry this man. So when Lily arranges an elopement for the pair, Alex takes his revenge upon Lily in the most sensual manner. What makes Alex so appealing is beneath his staid exterior, he's a vulnerable man. He's afraid to love again and be hurt after his fiance died many years ago in a horse riding accident. Despite his arrogance, it's his kindness that wins Lily's heart. Alex's gentleness with children is completely endearing. And finally, on this list, we have Rory Prescott from Dakota Destiny by D- Dana Ransom. Dana Ransom is a pseudonym by Nancy Gideon, by the way. Con artist Nora Denby has arrived in town, and she's on the move to make a score. She certainly has no interest in a wet behind the ears cowboy like Rory Prescott. When Nora finds out that Rory's the youngest son of a wealthy Dakota ranch dynasty, her partner in crime sets his sights on swindling Rory out of some major cash. Can Nora go through with the con? Rory is like an overgrown puppy dog, adoring, trusting, and he wears his heart in his sleeve. He's unrefined, rough around the edges, and a total contrast to Nora's more sedate and cerebral nature. Rory's love for his family and his horse named Rose but are nothing compared to his passion for Nora. Dakota Destiny by Dana Ransom deserves a look for this sincerely sweet romance hero. And in my opinion, it's an epic romance five stars to that book as well. In fact, all the books on this list are four to five star books, definitely keepers or books worthy of being reread time and time again. So we'll talk back again. This is Jacqueline Diaz from Sweet Savage Flame. And as always, let's talk romance.